Hello, my friends. Welcome to Harmony Day 11. Oh, fun things are going to happen today, especially this one. <laughs> oh, Rodney. Yeah, okay. Welcome, Rodney. Okay, we got stuff to do. Let's go, Isabel. Okay, what did we get? I'm still wearing my mask. I think I can take that off now. Um, yeah, friends are important. That's what that said. <laughs> Just a quick little skim there. So I did buy um, the mesh cap. It's not my favorite one. I believe Carolee from It's Me Carolee. Hello, Carolee. Um, her favorite is the same as my favorite. She likes the purple. And they didn't have the purple, so I have the orange, because that's my second favorite. And I'm probably just going to wear that for a while, because my head is cold. And it doesn't have to match perfectly. Maybe we should change my coat. Okay, I'm going to change my coat. I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually, um, I cleaned out my pockets, too, because we're going to do Vildra Hunt in a few minutes. First... We have to do a couple of things. First, we have to look right here because this house was here and now it's not. So I can, I can fix that. That's going to be great. I need to move this house today and then I will be able to um, finish all of this for a little bit, you know, until leaf finally comes so I can get some plants in the hedges. Hi, Molly. I can't talk to you right now. Um, I have to go talk to Rodney first because we need to check our stars and we can't check our stars until after we talk to him. So let's go talk to him. We've tried it. You have to talk to him in order for them to know, hi, Sahara, you're not Leaf and I want Leaf. Um, in order for the game to know, I gotta move that tree. In order for the game to know that you have your, what number is he? Sixth villager, which is what triggers the, the star ratings. So I have to talk to him first and then the game knows that he is here. So let's go talk to Rodney real quick. Hello, Rodney. We are so glad to welcome you. I just, I can't say it with a straight face. Uh, yep, so glad you're here. You know what we are glad you're here? Because we need a sixth villager. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Today, today I'm just like, well, it's a warm body to fill the space. That's how I'm feeling, Rodney. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be nicer other days. I'm just, I'm a little grumpy about it today. I know why. It's because I woke up at 4.30 this morning and couldn't go back to sleep. I need a nap. I was going to take a nap and I haven't yet. So maybe after this I will go take a nap. So, oh look, did you see my cute coat? How perfect is that for that hat? Love it. Actually, I kind of look, I kind of look like Halloween. That's okay. Um, so we have talked to him, so we should be able to go check our stars. Oh, I still don't have a bridge here. Don't run down there to go to the bridge because there's no bridge. It's so blinding. Oh, I planted a bunch more flowers and scooted them a little bit. I didn't have the red ones. Yeah, I didn't have, no, I didn't have the white ones. So I need to get white ones to fill this in. I'm just trying to have enough flowers to get us to three stars. I think I probably already do. Um, when you first plant them, they're worth, I want to say half a point. And then when they're fully bloomed, they're worth a full point toward your ready to get three stars thing. But I also have, I think I only have two bridges, right? Do I have two bridges? Um, one, two. I have two bridges and an incline. So, you know, that's great. And I'll have Ables and everything's upgraded and you, do, you know, not everything. I meant the museum is upgraded. Hello, Tom. Yes, it's very exciting. Okay. Yep. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm going to get back to you as soon as we ask her and get our rating. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, we have a one-star rating, which is what you start out with, and it's what I expected. We will, If we don't change anything, and the only thing I might change is fill in those couple of flowers, but if we don't change anything, I think we would be fine just getting our new villagers. Getting our second villager tomorrow should take us to two stars. And another villager the next day should take us to three. That's the way it usually works for me. It's possible that on that day, um, 
on that third new villager that um which is villager number eight um that i that she'll say i need something else but if she does we'll fix it i don't think so i think we're good Let's see yep she wants us to grow our population thank you okay nope i'm good Okay, we're gonna go put this plot down. Hey, Molly. Uh, we're gonna put the plot down and then we, I still act like I've got a bridge here. I'm gonna have a bridge here so it doesn't hurt to practice, right? Um, and then we're gonna use these two tickets. Okay, I'm thinking that might not be, probably when he moves and I move that, we can make this more convenient, but I didn't, I'm not really working with that very well yet. Um, I'm going to believe that we can find our villager within these two tickets, right? Sure. Sure. Let's do that. Um, if not, I, ooh, I, I kind of shook there. If, um, hi, Sahara. Get out of my shot, Sahara. Gosh. Um, if not, then I, I have, I think I have, let's look enough for two tickets and probably by then I will have yeah I could have three tickets pretty easily um, right now I already have two but I I could buy two and then you know three if I need to but that's what we're gonna do let's go that was a nice little jump place let's go and see if we can find another villager this will be our eighth villager today is the day for snooty let's hit the balloon for luck Come on, snooty. Good snooty. One I haven't had. Let's go find one I haven't had. I just did the math in my head. <laughs> I've actually had 75% of the villagers. So, you know, finding somebody new is kind of a big ask. But it's okay, Wilbur. I believe in you. I believe you did it for us. Right? Who do we have? I've had Sylvia. In fact, I think I've seen her. Have I seen her on one of my villager hunts? Maybe not. I'm not taking Sylvia. I'll see you guys on the next island. So I decided to keep my mask on because my face is cold. <laughs> oh, this is my sister fruit. I should really pick all those. Uh, I don't think I'm going to. I just, I, I just, I don't have the patience and the time and stuff. Stitches. You're not snooty and I've had you. Oh, the temptation is strong. <sighs> nope, nope, I'm going for a snooty. See, I'm gonna go get tickets and then I will see you guys on the next island. Okay, I bought two tickets and I've decided if we don't get somebody on these two, then I'm just gonna have to do it on my own because we got other stuff to do. So, let's see. Um, they must be behind the cliff. Where are you guys? Oh! Oh, it's Bree. I've had Bree. Did I have Bree? I think I had Bree. Hang on, let me check. Okay, so I checked. I have not had Bree. I had Greta. I have seen and wanted Bree a million times. But then I thought, maybe I haven't. And she's snooty. Um, well, there's a fresh face. Are you visiting from another island as well? Um, we're taking her in case you didn't figure that out yet. Um, yes, I am. Well, my friends call me Bree, and you are Robin, all the way from Harmony even. Isn't that fascinating? Well, we may only be here a short time, but I do hope we get to know each other better. You don't know this about me yet, but I'm always down to dish, darling. That's one of the things that the snooty says. Yes, Bree, I would love it if you would come to my island. I know some people have a problem with your hair. I think your hair is beautiful. It's a beautiful color. I like green, and I think that's a very pretty color of green. Yes. It'll be great. Thank you. It's your best decision ever. Absolutely. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to um I'm going to check for a bottle and I'm going to shake for an item and then um we're going to do our first Happy Home Paradise Island. So I will see you um somewhere when we're going to fly over. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. I wasn't sure if we could go to work from that island, but it's our first time, so I thought we'd probably have to go from here. I want to go to work. Yep, I'm ready. 
Um, yeah, I'm ready. Good to go. Okay, we're gonna let the whole thing play so that anybody who hasn't seen it can see it. realized I should have read those words. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope you were able to read them. I was going a little fast and um, and I tried to go a little slow and then I went, oh, I should have, I should have read those. Sorry. Um, for anyone who is new to this, oh, I should wait till we land. If you're new to Animal Crossing or if you don't have um, this let me just I'm gonna stay right here for a second this is a paid DLC and DLC means downloadable content so it's kind of like an expansion pack for Animal Crossing New Horizons like you can't get it on its own you have to have Animal Crossing New Horizons and it's not a free update or anything it was uh, you had to pay for it I think it was like $30 or something um, and you had to pay for it to add it on so if you're wondering what this is that's what it is now we're going to go do our first day and i'm going to read the words this time hi welcome you must be the newbie that lottie was talking about right that's right well i'm glad the island sent you to me i'm nico i work with lottie nico is the cutest little guy and everybody was very sad after we saw him in the the gonna have these things update trailer thing the massive 2.0 trailer that we saw um and then we found out he was he was an npc and not a playable character everybody was very sad um i work with lottie everyone is so ready for you the office isn't far from the pier so let's get going okay nico i'm with you you're you're not fast enough but i guess you got tiny little legs huh Okay, thanks Nico. Hello guys. Ah, oh, welcome, I've been waiting for you Robin. And welcome back to you too Nico, thanks for leading the way. Oh, cute smile. I think Nico has already introduced himself but I'll introduce you to everyone formally now. Everyone, this is Robin, the person in charge of our custom vacation homes. Glad you're here Robin. Me too. You'll help Robin out, won't you? Um, I'd be grateful. I was like, I'm supposed to say yes to myself? No. Of course. Great to have you on the team. Just remember, I'm your guy if there's anything you need. The islands around here are kind of like my backyard, you know? Yep, our Nico is the expert when it comes to all things local. He can take you straight to any island you need. Ah, uh, you're too kind. I'm also trying to learn more about sales and home construction, so ask me anything. Next up is Wardell. He's in charge of managing furniture procurement and other related matters. We also sell furniture and souvenirs here in the office, so he's in charge of that part of the business as well. Staff can make purchases too, so check out the products later. You might find something interesting. Hello. <laughs> He's a narwhal of very um, few words. Is he a narwhal? He's not a narwhal. He doesn't have a thing. What is he? Oh, oh, oh. He's 
<clears throat> I can never remember. He's a, he's a, he's a... Dang it. I'll look it up and I'll put it right here. Because I know what he is, but I can't remember the name. He's that. Hello. <laughs> okay, that's the whole team. I just know the four of us are going to do great things together. Go team! That's right. Yeah, go team! It's policy to wear a uniform when you're working. You'll find yours in the locker upstairs next to the mirror. You can use whatever you like in the staff room, including that mirror and the cabinet up there as well. All right, just call me when you're finished changing. So I can change my hair if I want? Hmm. Hmm. I don't, but I kind of never thought of that. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like I have anything to wear. Just kidding. Okay. Yes, I would like... I don't like any of those outfits. Um... Okay, let's... Oh, I'm wearing an outfit. <laughs> I didn't even notice I was wearing an outfit already. Oh, I like the dress. There we go. D I, those are horrible shoes if I'm going to be walking around. My goodness. Those are not walking shoes. What are you thinking? Um... We really don't have good walking shoes for a dress. Let's see. Um... Kind of, do I have any socks? Because I was gonna, I was thinking maybe I could wear, I could wear the tennis shoes, but I no, those are horrible with that outfit. I could wear the red. I don't think that's is that the right red. This is where the colorblind thing becomes a problem. Um, I think I'm gonna wear those, but I need some socks. What happens if I wear the tights? Ooh. I thought those were black. They don't look black. Maybe they're nylons and not tights. That's cute. That's really cute. Can we just pretend I have no show socks on? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to pretend I have those tiny little footlets that barely cover your foot that slide off during the day and then you get blisters. I'm going to pretend like I have those on. That's perfect. Let's just look and confirm that we could change it if we wanted to. Wow, I could! Look, I could change my hair. I'm not going to, though, because I look beautiful. Um, okay, let's go get it done. I'm ready. I'm ready, Lottie. Ooh, he looks so official, and the fit is just right. Fantastic. You know, I hadn't really thought of that. That's why I don't mind shopping so much in this game. Everything just fits. I mean, it might not look good on me, but it fits. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's all my size. That's pretty great. Well, now that you're all decked out in the official garb, let me just say, welcome to Paradise Planning. Oh, did I forget to tell you about our name? We're Paradise Planning. It rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Our goal is to help our clients live out their dreams in vacation homes of their very own. So we have to get to know them on a personal level to deliver on that promise. I just know you'll be great at it, Robin. You're right, I will. Now, I think it's best to learn on the job, so I'd like you to get started right away. Good, because this is going long. we got to get done. <laughs> I'm here to help you as much as I can, but remember, I'm here. What I mean is, I can't leave the office. You say that, but there is a time when I know you're going to leave the office. Not to worry, however, Nico will be joining you for our client consultants. That's that's cool, because he's a cute little guy. You got it, Lottie. Don't worry about a thing. I'll be right with you the whole time. You can even call me boss. <laughs> I mean, if you want, boss. <laughs> all right, now all we need to do is find some clients. I wonder if Eloise is going to walk in. She is. So this is Eloise, and um, she is the first home that everybody does unless she's on your island. So if you already have her, then you will get somebody else. I don't remember who it is. And there's a whole a whole list where it's like if you have Elo if you have Eloise on your island, you'll get this next one. But if you have them too, you'll get this next one and this next one and this next one. Whole big long list that it's in the book. The big lot big huge Animal Crossing Encyclopedia guidebook official book thing. It's in there. Welcome. 
Well, isn't this a darling little office? I've heard this is the place to be when one is looking for a vacation home tailored to one's needs, yes? Indeed, we are taking orders. If you could join me over here. Actually, today just so happens to be the first day we are taking orders for our vac vacation homes. Well, what splendid timing! Now then, I've been a visitor here many times, and this island always helps me feel relaxed. I suppose the atmosphere just suits me. Do you know what I mean? In any case, I think it would be quite marvelous to have my own little getaway. The thing is, I haven't the slightest idea how to make such a thing happen. Toot! That's what we're here for. No worries at all. We'll do our best to make your dreams come true. Just tell your hopes and dreams to Robin and they'll get started right away. Let me just, let me just say that's a lot of pressure, Lottie. It's a lot of pressure. Oh. Come on, let's all have a seat in our new meeting area. Now we can meet like professionals. The wallpaper in the transition screens is so cute. Ah, the breeze is delightful here. What a wonderful spot to conduct business. I'm not going to read her catchphrase every time. So let's get to it. Shall I just go ahead and describe my vision? Yes, tell us all about it. Paint us a picture. Do you have any thoughts on how you'd like to spend time at your vacation home? I can think of nothing else, and I'm very particular. I have some furniture I'd like to use no matter what. You see, my ideal place is like... I'm very glad that they give us suggestions because I, I'm not a decorator and just coming up with something, that would be a problem. And books? I can do books. My relaxing reading room. So if you're new, um, when you're doing their home, those items that they show you down in the bottom, those are the ones that you have to do in order for it to be done. And. Um, They'll be in a certain place when you get to the um, to the home as well. That looks great. Absolutely. Yep, our client has a dream. Please fulfill that dream, Robin. Again, I'm just I'm feeling a lot of pressure. I'll fulfill your dream. As for the location, well, I've had my eye on a particular small island near here. It's the one that looks like. Oh yes, that island. Well then. <laughs> Are you a mind reader? <laughs> well, then you'll need to head to the site to complete the next step of the process. She didn't show it, right? I didn't miss it. Okay. Good luck with the client at the job site. Nico will take you by boat. Okie dokie. Once you're on location, you can get to work right away. I can't wait to see how it all works out. Me too. I forgot that she chose her location the first time because usually you get to choose the location. And here we are, watch your step. So that's going to be my vacation home. I'm so excited. Can we go see what the inside is like? Of course we can. You bet, come on, let's go. So those are the required items, they're already in there. Oh my, what could be in these packages? I promise I haven't been shopping online yet. Oh yeah, these are the furnishings you requested earlier. Well, talk about service. I only just made that request and my order is already here. Well, you know, Nico, he's pretty amazing. Now we've got some prep work to do first, so I'll need you two to hang on for just a minute or two. Okay. Okay, newbie, this is it. The show, the real deal, the big time. Obviously, the stuff the client orders shows up ahead of time. Take it out of the box with A, and then it's your job to arrange it and, you know, make it look nice. But before we get to work, let's just real quick go over how work works. First up, get into decorating mode by pressing down. That's over on the left hand thing, pal paddle. What do we call that? Controller. <laughs> It makes designing rooms as easy as key lime pie. Oh, that sounds good. Why do they use food references so often? It just makes me want things, especially anything sweet. Key lime pie, that sounds great. You can check the furniture available by pressing the right button. Also on the left, Joy-Con. That's what we call them. It's a Joy-Con. <laughs> so 
pick some stuff that matches the client's concept. Design until the designing's done, then report to the client, and the job is finished. Does that cover it? Yeah, I think that covers it. Okay. Okay, Eloise, we're all set, so it's time to get to work. Wonderful, thank you so much. I'm so excited to see the finished product, Robin. I'll be around, so let me know if you run into any trouble. Now show us what you got. Okay, okay. You say you want to see the finished product, but you're just going to stand here and watch me, aren't you? Okay, um, this is going to be... I'm not going to speed run it, but I am going to... Um, I am going to... Um, keep it simple. So, in order to change that, I, I, went, I highlighted it and then I hit um, X because up in the top right corner, see how X is the customization. So I clicked on that and um, I can do this. The thing about decorating on HHP, Happy Home Paradise, is that you can use any customization of the item that you have. I'm just scooting these here for now. I don't know if I'm gonna leave them there. Um, I think those books are fine but we need to do some other stuff. So let's let's look at, oh, furniture selection tips. While working on your designs, you will be using furniture procured by Paradise Planning. You can see what furniture items the client requested under the clip clipboard order. <laughs> Make sure to use these in your design. They're already there, I will. You'll also find other items under that that are likely to fit the client's requested concept. When in doubt, look to these for inspiration. Okay, so there are all kinds of, like there's, this has a ton of stuff, but this is like, oh, these are really good for what you're doing. But I'm going to start with um, the floor first. And, oh, 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 the common flooring. Um, I think if I hit an X, yeah, so I could change it. I like it vertical though, but I could change it just by hitting the X wallpaper okay okay and I can't turn the room while I'm in here that's annoying um I like that but that wood doesn't go with this wood so I'm not going to use that um this is all my choices that's all my choices um I think we're just going to go common wall it's not my favorite but it's going to have to do for now um let's go Oh, let's go here. So we'll go with those specifically. Let's go. I like the brown one, the dark brown one. I like dark brown everything. Okay. Um, do we, I think we just want one. Now here's the thing. Okay. So when you're making a vacation home and it's just one room, do you still do a bed? Cause I'm like, if she's going to live here, she's going to need a bed, right? Yeah, so I'm going to do a bed, but I, I don't know, I don't know that I would, right? Um, I don't think I have a custom design I can use other than this one. That, this is the bed that I have at my house. <laughs> so we're going to use that. Um, it's not the best look, but we're going to use that for now. Maybe I'll do something else later because I believe that once I learn more, I'll get to come in and um, redo some stuff redo hers especially like that'll be how I learned to redo them brown um what photo do I want let's do the flowers she seems like a flowers kind of girl okay so we're gonna we're gonna go like this and um just trying to trying to decide I'm thinking this is what I'm thinking I'm thinking we're gonna go kind of bedroom and the living room ish and then I'm gonna believe that the um, that there's like a little pop-up cafe or food truck that comes <laughs> so she doesn't actually have to have a kitchen let's do that how about that and I don't have partitions so let's do this let's let's give her room a little let's just give her a little divider I don't think we can get in there <laughs> can she get in if I do that um, this is I'm not loving this oh, okay and this is why I don't do this game I'm not very good at this okay 
Um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I just, I'm already frustrated. Um, let's, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to pop some stuff in there. And then I'm going to move some stuff around as I figure it out. Okay. She would like, for sure, oops, not that. She would like, oops, not that either. <laughs> she would like, for sure, um, a wooden end table. Because books is what we're working on. It's got books. So I'm going to give her an end table. And then she needs, she needs a lamp. Um, is that the only lamp? Oh, it's the only lamp. Okay, she's gonna have this lamp, but she's gonna have it in what? What's she gonna have? Dark brown. She can't have dark brown. Dang it. She could have the flowers though. We did the picture in flowers, so we're gonna do the flowers. I don't care. I don't care on the colors. I know it doesn't match her bedding, although a little bit, you know, flowers and green. Flowers and clover, they're pretty much the same thing. Um... You know, I'm feeling like she, yeah, it's got to, okay, when I'm sleeping, I got to have my nightstand right next to my bed. Are you that kind of person? I don't know. I'm just going to, oh, I'm not happy. This is what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to make it simple. I'm going to leave it like this, and then I'm going to count on the fact that we are going to redo it. I'm, I'm going to, I'm just going to go with that with the we're gonna redo it thing. But I think, can I scoot that over? I can scoot that over. Um, I was gonna put this over here, kind of create a little mini reading nook, cause she's got that there. And we'll put, we're gonna put the books, no, we're gonna put the books here. And this, ugh, I hate that I can't put that on, on, an, on an angle. Why can I not put this on an angle? I don't know. I don't know. Um, are we reading together? Maybe we're hanging out reading together. I don't know. I don't know, but that seems silly. So how about if we... But see, here's a, here's a little spot too. Oh, here's what we're going to do. Let's see. Do we have... Do we have any rugs? Okay. Um, ooh, this is what we want. I think we want that one. Let's put that one right there. Um, is that the only one? Let's see. That's one small, small, small. Red. That looks like pink. That one looks like red. Those don't, those don't look the same color. Right? That's not the same color. Um, don't say yes. She said yes. I don't, I mean, it's, I mean, it's kind of the same color as your light though. Okay, let's do this. Let's move that one. Let's put this one here. Now it doesn't look quite as fluffy as I thought it was, but we're going to pretend. We're going to pretend that it's very, very fluffy. And, um, I'm going to put, is that the only cushion I have? Oh, beginner is so beginner. Okay. We're going to do a cushion. Um, hello, we're going to do the floral cushion, duh, um, it's going to go right there and we're going to put, um, we're going to put a little book right here. This is the kids reading section, you know, where they have like a little, a little library nook in school. I know we're not in school, but we're going to pretend we can pretend, right? Um, this book, oh, these need to go. What color? Should I leave them bright? Oh. I'm going to use that. I know it's kind of not, her room's not pastel, but I'm thinking if this is the kid's nook, hmm, oh, here's what we'll do. We'll, um, we'll do another, another one and we'll go with the regular colors. See, those are kind of kids, right? Kind of kiddy, kid-like. Sure. Just, just work with me here. Just pretend. Okay, so we have that cushion, and then what else would we have in a little kid's nook? Because her nieces and nephews come over. They they come over and hang out, because she's the coolest. Um, which pop-up book? The Ocean. Um, we're not going with flowers on that one. I think we're going to go with the Ocean. We're going to put the pop-up book right there. 
Um, you're gonna need to move, sweetheart. Okay, so... Yeah, we're gonna put it right there. And then we'll, we'll have to open it. Um, and let's see if there's anything else that actually feels like it belongs there. Um, let's see. I'm, you know what I'm going with? I'm going with some tissues because it's, it's winter. Every kid in the world has a runny nose right now. Um, I, I used to work at a preschool and that was in fact the case. We're going to go like this because it's a little cheap, um, school tissues right there. I, I need you to move again because this is where my rocking chair is going to go. We have, um, that's where Eloise sits to read to them. And yeah, it's, she doesn't leave it there all the time because it's in the path, right? But this is, that, that's where they are. That's what that is. And then, um, so she's over here and her books are there. Hmm, do I have, let's see if one of the rugs that I have will kind of divide that room. This is what we're doing. Oh, I hate that it's just a little bit too big. Um, I was going to say what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm doing stuff and it's not going to be, it's not going to be perfect. Like that doesn't match, right? That doesn't match everything. None of my stuff matches. Um, but I'm going to fix it later. So, um, I don't want those. Um, let's, let's try that one. Um, can I... Let's turn, can I turn it? Okay, that's, it, I mean, mm, it divides the room, but, it, but it's not great. I don't love it. Um, um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't use it. I just can't. So let's, let's, let's see what else. Maybe we want to do one of these. Let's go with this one. Uh, so small. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, let's just put that right there. Just to kind of say, hey, this is a space. And then maybe we'll use something small in here. What what are you going to have? Um, that's not good. Let's see, you have, that, you have that pink stuff in your room. Let's try avocado. Because you have green in your room. That's fine. That's perfect, right? Only we want, oops, not that. We want the, um, I think we want the rug down and over. I know it, she doesn't have really rug over here. Pretend there's rug over here because this is the side she's gonna get out on and she's gonna want a carpet for her cold feet in the morning, right? I do. I like a carpet for my cold feet in the morning. Okay, now, see, this is where the problem comes in. This is where the problem comes in. This is the other thing. This is not going to have a bathroom either. So what are we going to put here? We're going to put, um, I'm going to give her some food. We're going to give her an eating place. Um, let's give her the ranch low board and dark brown. Do we want a cloth? No, we don't want a cloth. That's just, that's just too much thinking about coloring and stuff. Um, is that okay? That's the right way. And let's give her some book friendly snacks. Like when we play games, nobody's allowed to have food on the table, um, except for like the right food because it's game friendly. So it's not going to ruin my games because I have expen expensive games and I've spent a lot of money on them and people are not as careful as they think they are and then they spill and then my game is ruined and then I'm like, Ur, that was a $65 game and you just couldn't put your drink on the table. So I just, I just don't let people do it anymore. People are not allowed to have things on the table when we are playing games. No food. But you could have those things. See, that's like bread. I wish I had a bread basket. Um, yeah. The Oh, I do have a bread basket. <gasps> I have a bread basket. That's totally going on there. Um, not that. The bread basket is going on there. In fact, you know what we have? We have, oh, maybe I'll just put one. I was going to have two different kinds of bread. Let's see what other kind of bread we might want. Um, why, I can't customize it? Well, I guess we're having that bread. <laughs> we're going to have that bread. And um, what else? Um, 
See, it just, it just looks ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I'm not good at this. This is why I usually speed run it. If I did it more, I'd be a little better at it, but I'm just, I'm just not. I'm just not. So, um, let's do a rug, I guess. I already hate all the rugs. What am I going to do? Um, I guess I could use it. Let's try it. I don't want a blue one. What am I doing? Um, maybe we'll use another green one. This is the most ridiculous room ever. Let's use another green one. Okay. Um, yeah. It's, it's going to be that. And I'm going to scoot this up. Nope. Um, no. We're not going to use the rug because... Because no. What if we spill? Okay. So let's see. Um, this is a place where the grown-ups can sit. I know what I can do. Hmm. Do I want... I don't want to do that. I'm just going to put another another couch. Maybe we'll put another chair, a different kind of chair. What chairs do we have? Um, oh, these would be great. Let's put some of those. What colors do we have? Um, oh, see, these would be great in the look in the kids area, but I don't think I'm going to put them there because, um, because I need stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's do another one. We're just gonna, it's, ugh, it's so not good. Um, it's, it's not, it's not what I want, but you know what? It's, it's okay. I don't know. I don't know. I want to quit. I want to go back and say, never mind. we're not going to do HHP today. It's just, I don't like it. I'm not keeping that. Let's, we're getting rid of those. Um, this is what I'm going to do. Rather than going, what do I need there? I'm going to look at the things we have. And I'm going to say, are any of these things that we want to put in there? <sighs> um, like, I could do... Hmm, let me see. Okay, so let's, let's try this. Let's move this stack of books. And then let's, um, let's go here. If you highlight that and you hit... Um, is it the trigger? I think it's the... Uh, the trigger yeah it it makes a copy so you get the same one okay so we're gonna put another one oh, this is not working this is what we're gonna do we're gonna give up um, having this be a little extra big <laughs> we're gonna scoot the whole thing over and um, then I'll have room for that other one I'll scoot it like this there we go I'm calling that acceptable okay, how how can I? No. I can't really have it on both of them. Actually, now that I moved that, can I fit the, um, could I fit the turkey day one there? I'm just going to leave. Yeah, let's try the turkey, turkey day one now. Now that we moved that. Is that what it, it's not the turkey day one. It's the elegant beige one. There's no space here to put the rug. Um, really? I'm going to move you to there. See if you're what's stopping it from working. Oops, that was the wrong one. Oh, that's big. Um, what is it? What about here? Well, that's stupid. Oh, 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 I know why. Because I didn't move this rug. That's why. Okay, let's try it now. Because that rug was in the way, not... Not Eloise. I'm sorry I insulted you, Eloise. Okay, now, you know what? I I know it doesn't all look great, but I'm 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 yeah, I'm go I'm going with that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um oh there's not a floor lamp. We already found out we didn't have another lamp, right? Or maybe it was just a table lamp that oh I do have a floor lamp. Um I think I want that one. Guess what color? Brown. They don't have one. Okay. Um, let's see. <sighs> Seriously? Everything is so bright. I think I'm going to take that one. Uh, let's go with green. Because we do have a little bit of green accent in this room. Okay, okay. See? This is amazing. <laughs> it's so not amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I think... Can, is this big enough to walk through? I think that's big enough to walk through, right? I mean, we have the scooch, so maybe maybe you have to scooch through it, but I think I'm calling... Let's see. Let's try turning this and scoot it up just a little. 
Um, no, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it next to the couch. I'm gonna say she wants it where she can lean over and grab it. Um, no, I want it sideways. I like it like that. Now, <clears throat> if I were really doing this room, like I were going to live in this room, I would need a trash can, but I'm not, I'm not gonna bother with trying to fit, fit a trash can in there because this is the little room. This is all we can do. Okay, um, Mm -hmm. I think we're just gonna go with that um, yeah I think I know it's not fabulous but it's gonna do you know what it's just it's gonna do right it's it's gonna do let's open that there we go now it's perfect <laughs> I'm just kidding but it did need to be opened I'm saying it needed to be opened um, is that it I think think I left I didn't realize I left her backwards but that's okay and I'm not loving the balance of the I feel like the uh, the bedroom lamp should be against the wall so that they're kind of opposite corners but we're just gonna believe that you couldn't see it when you came in here anyway right because it's two separate rooms kind of so we're gonna leave that um yeah I think I'm calling that done that's 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 as done oh I didn't do walls I always forget to do the walls you people and your let's put stuff on the walls -ness. I'm not a I'm, I'm not a things on the wall kind of girl okay she's not gonna have one in her room because it would be over her bed and hello earthquake or just you know poltergeist we don't want some something getting dropped on your head right um we're gonna go with the white one and let's see apple fish the flower that's gonna go right here because that's the little kids section and that looks a little kid like um and then let's see um right that's not where i want it um let's put this in the kids section you're gonna have to we're gonna have to put that right here um yeah <laughs> there's stuff on the wall that's it there's just stuff on the wall it's best i can give you can you get a different frame with this no you can't okay um well then this looks like it has a silly frame is there there's just those i mean maybe that's better i guess that's i guess that's mm, do i like that better oh, i don't know I'm gonna go with white. Let's go with white. This should not take this long. Okay, and then, um, let's, seriously, I'm just, I'm shutting down, people. This is so hard. So hard for me. Um, do I really have to put things on the wall? <sighs> I'm so frustrated. Uh, let's, let's, what do we got? Um, ooh, I like the white. Let's go, uh, white. Um, I was gonna do, like, maybe a couple. No, that looks ridiculous. Um, let's do, let's, I wish this were shaped differently, but let's do that. Um, we have a dark brown? No, because this game insists on not giving us the same wood options in everything we have. <sighs> Should we go with green? Let's go with green. I don't know. I don't know anything. I thought, I was all excited going, oh, we're going to go have fun with this. And now I'm just like, oh, I want to not be doing this. Okay, that's a little bigger than I thought, so um that that'll do right that'll do and then here um i was gonna put i was gonna put the clock there let me just look um i was gonna put the clock on the wall but i don't like i don't like the idea of having oh let's put a clock no let's oh let's do this let's do this Let's move this um, here, and then let's put the clock here. 
this one um, because it's too big to have over somebody's head and I don't want to have it here because then they can't see it. The, the people who are sitting over here, they need to know, oh my gosh, we've been talking for three hours. I gotta go. So they gotta have a clock where they can kind of see it if they just turn their head. That They don't have to turn all the way. That's what I'm thinking. And then, um, do we want anything over the couch? This, this is what I'm thinking. Let's, let's look. Because um, Eloise might not be a nerd, but she might have nerdy friends. So that's not what I want. Never mind. I was <laughs> I was hoping I could put like um like the other like like the um what do you call it like the space map? I was hoping I could put that there. Ooh. So what do we want? Um let's let's call this her vanity area. Let's nope, that's not what I meant to do. What what are you doing? And by vanity, I mean she's vain. That's what I meant. Um, let's put it... Do I have to have it in here? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just so silly that they have um, a poster of themselves that can go in their house. I think I'm not going to put anything there. I, I feel like... I don't know. I already have too much stuff on the walls. I'm not big on having stuff on my walls. So this is all we got. We're just, yeah, we're going to call this done. I'm going to turn her around. Okay. We're going to, we're going to call this done. I, I just gotta wrap it up. I just gotta go. You know what? This is it's as good as it's gonna get, Eloise. It's as good as it's gonna get. It's ready. Yep. I did it. It's amazing. You love it. I know. You've dedicated so much of your time to my vacation home. I could not be happier. Here we go. Isn't that perfect? Oh, it's exactly how I imagined it. No, it's even better. Oh, I'm so glad I asked you to do this. Thank you so very much, Robin. It's marvelous. You're welcome. It was very hard and it caused me lots of stress. Well, look at you. Your first job is a huge success. I can't wait to tell Lottie about the great work you did. <laughs> Welcome back. So how did it go with our first client? Tell me everything, Robin. Uh, uh, I was a little nervous. <laughs> That's okay. Everyone feels like that on their first day. When I was just starting out, I was so nervous I could hardly focus. Well, I have trouble focusing even when I'm not nervous. The client was thrilled. I'm super impressed with how professionally Robin handled it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so great. The more happy clients we have, the more our business will grow. I think the sky's the limit, and I'm so glad you've joined the team. And thanks for all of your help, Nico. Our newcomer is in great hands with you. Just doing my job, but thank you so much for noticing. All right, I should head back to the pier now. I'm already excited to get started with our next client. Hope you're ready for more, Robin. Bye, Nico. Thank you for your help. Oh, there's one last thing. Here, this is for you, Robin. 
You didn't think you'd be working for free, did you? Here's what you've earned so far. 6,000 pokey! Pokey? Oh gosh, that's another important detail I should have mentioned. In this region of islands, we use pokey instead of bells as our everyday currency. You won't be able to spend pokey back home on Harmony, nor can you spend bells here. We may not have a lot for sale here right now, but I'm sure you'll find a few things you like. Boom. Anyway, thanks again for all of your work so far. Come see me when you're ready for another job. Okay, so we have 6,000 pokey, and all of these things can be bought with pokey. Those are cute! I have cute versions of things. How much is the duck? 290. Okay, I'm not going to get it yet. I want to I want to price those um the uh, this. I want everything here. Uh 4100. I might have to do another one of these later cuz I want all of these. Um I that's the one I want the least, but I do like it. And the Schiffler and the Banker's lamp. I I really want all of these. So, I probably will do some more later. Um, and then these chocolates, if you want to invite somebody that you already have on your island to come and you'll do a house for them, you, you give them a chocolate. So you buy the box of chocolates and then you can invite them. But we're going to be done. I'm going to be done, Lottie. Thank you. Thank you, Wardell. You hold down the fort with the furniture and stuff. I'll come buy stuff later. But one of the important things is, and I, I'm not sure if it happens the first day or if you have to wait till they tell you, but there will be a bottle. Hello, Mo. Hello, Tybalt and Alice. Who else is here? That's it. So anybody on the beach, you can ask them. You have to be in your work clothes. And then above their head, it will say, I want this. And then you can decide um, who you want to ask. So um, we do not have a message bottle yet. I was pretty sure we wouldn't at the beginning. So guess what we're going to do? I gotta stay in this spot because we're gonna do categories right here. Actually, I guess now that I'm all locked in, I can get off and it'll stay there. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Let's do that. Um, I kind of like it back actually. Let's let's go like that. That's pretty great, right? Sure, we're gonna call that great. Okay, this is the time of the video where we play categories. I will give you a topic. And you'll have 30 seconds to come up with a word or phrase that starts with whatever letter comes off the die when I roll the die. So today's topic is in honor of Mayor Ern, Ernie over at um, Artist Ern, that's his, his channel. I was watching his, he's been doing football games, right, on his island. And um, just had his Super Bowl, which I haven't watched yet, but I'm going to, but I've been watching him set things up for the post Super Bowl celebration parade. And he has a video that shows how he plays football on his island, so I will link that below. But in honor of Earn, we are going to do the topic, things at a football game. So Earn, you should be able to get this. I'm gonna roll the die, whatever letter I get, I will tell you, and then you have 30 seconds to come up with something at a football game that starts with this letter. Are you ready? Good luck. And your letter is... Uh, can't be that. We've, that's a repeat. Uh, nope, that's a repeat. We've got to use the hard die now. Uh, y. Go. Okay, did you get something? I thought of a couple of things. Thought of some yellow stuff. Thought of young people. And then young people led me to my answer. My answer is yahoos. There are yahoos at football games. There are yahoos at every public event that you go to. But I always seem to get next to the yahoos. Those people, the, just, they shouldn't be allowed out in public. I'm just saying. Or... Maybe they should, and I shouldn't. <laughs> I don't know, but we should not be sitting close to each other, and somehow we always are. 
So I say there are yahoos at a football game. Let me know what you came up with. It'll be a fun one. But the reason that we place categories is to choose our letter of the day. And today's letter of the day is Y. So if your first name, last name, middle name, nickname, maiden name, gamer name, pseudonym starts with or ends with the letter Y, then you are my superstars for today. And I don't remember what direction, I, oh, there I am, <laughs> what direction I, I came off in. You are my superstars for the day. Yay! Thank you so, so, so much for being here. Thank you for all your support. You guys totally rock. Okay, um, let, ooh, I didn't want to, ooh, wow, the whole thing moved. That's cool. Okay, thank you so much for being here. You're all amazing. All of you. I'm sorry this was so long. It was so hard. Some of you are so good at this and you make it look really easy, but it's not easy. It's hard. <sighs> if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. If you're looking for HHP content, you're out of luck because this is probably it. This is probably all you're going to get. But there are a lot of great creators out there who are doing HHP content, so go watch them. There's so many of them. I wish my brain were working and I could pull some of them out of my brain and through my mouth and out to you, but I can't right now. So I'll link a couple of them. How about that? I'll put a couple of them in the comments. But thank you for enduring. I'm sorry this video is so long and, and painful, but it's done now and you'll never have to watch it again. Oh my gosh, you all rock. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you get to play some Animal Crossing today and I hope it makes you smile. I'll talk to you later. Bye!